Hello everyone and welcome back to the Rising Super Stream. Today we're playing VR games, of course, because uh, I can't help myself. So we've got the stupid setup where I don't have a chair and I stand around awkwardly, put my hands together. You know I had to do it. Um, we're gonna play, tonight, we're gonna play The Inpatient, which is probably a good time. Uh, but first I just need to um, have a small announcement. Unfortunately, over the holiday period in 2017, um, the googly eyes on my PlayStation VR headset were savaged by multiple family members wielding PlayStation Move controllers. Uh, they, <laughs> they fell apart and got destroyed so many times that I realized I just need to buy a new, like, $20 set of googly eyes. So, hey, I didn't even bother taking the residue off, just as a reminder. As a, as a, a solemn reminder that uh, he will not be forgotten. So, uh, yeah, rip, rip googly eyes. Tonight we're playing, playing sans googly eyes, uh, au naturel, as it were. So, so, today we're playing The Inpatient, uh, which is almost certainly going to be a very spooky game. It's by, um, developed by Supermassive Games, published by Sony. Uh, it's, it's a VR game, it's only on VR. Um, and it takes place in the same world as Until Dawn, and it takes place before Until Dawn as well. You might be thinking, well, that's a prequel. Um, the devs have been really cagey about that. Uh, I'm inclined to say it's probably not a prequel, it just takes place in the same world. Um, that is to say, the story is, like, totally standalone. Um, but if you do recognize some stuff, like over here on the menu, I noticed there's, uh, the butterfly effect section, which is very clearly until dawn stuff. So, so hey, um, so this takes place. If, if you are worried about any sort of content spoilers for until dawn, I, I don't, I I don't know. I'll probably mention some stuff at certain points if if I see certain things. So, uh, until dawn spoiler warning, I suppose. Um, are you rocking the PJ pants today? Yes, I got my PJ pants and my lazy PJ shirt. Sometimes I, I look at some of my friends when they stream and they put so much effort into like looking presentable and I'm just showing up and like <laughs> just being a total fucking shit. You guys are just gonna watch this schlub wave his arms around for hours. Am I impatient to play impatient? Oh you, oh you with your words. Um, so, so we're gonna, we're gonna get right into this. Uh, uh, if Fratzy asks, is this gonna be a full LP? I'm inclined to say yes, but I, I wanna I wanna play it just to just to be sure. So we will see. We will see. Um, I think I'm gonna leave the light off tonight to help accentuate the horror mood. That might look a little too dark right now, but once the the headset's on and the arms are moving around, speaking of which, I have to turn the arms on. You should be able to see, see stuff okay, I think, or at least adequately enough. Ugh, let me get this shit on. Okay, headset's on. I can confirm this game does does have graphics. I, at a glance, I see like four or five, uh, which is really good. In VR, you normally can't have uh, as many graphics as non-VR games because of uh, hardware limitations. Um, so so get, getting four or five graphics. We're on PS4 Pro, by the way, but e even for PS4 Pro, four or five graphics, you know? in a VR game is, is pretty good. Nothing to mock at. Let me get these controllers on. Oh God. Oh God, ignore the res music. Okay, now I should be like kind of visible. Not really, not that visible. But hey, we're gonna be in the dark. It's gonna be good. Um, I guess, uh, let, me, let me know how the audio is in a minute. I'll come back out and check. Um, I think it should be okay, but I, I really am not 100% sure. Okay, uh, I should pop in the settings first and see if there's subtitles on. Uh, rotation 30, oh, can we make that smooth? Hang on, get my, free, yeah, 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 cool. I hate when you don't have the choice there. Vo voice control, well, let's, well, let's leave that on. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun mix. We'll have to see what that entails exactly. I have no idea what the voice controls are. Uh, New game. Oh 
neat. Wow, you actually can pick gender. That's awesome. In VR, this is something that I think is really cool. Because um, I, I have heard of some people, both male and female, who, who have a hard time when they've got hands that are very clearly not... The, and this, I was literally just going to say this. Um, this is also like a VR thing that I've heard people talk about before. Um, particularly people of color who are like, it's weird having white hands of the wrong gender or something like that. Uh, Tearaway also had that um, on the Vita, and it did it really well. Um, cool, let's go with that. That looks about right. I'm sure it's going to be... I'm sure the big manly hands I'm going to have in the game are going to be exactly like my baby hands. Not to say my hands are small, but they're certainly not muscular or toned in any way. Am I audible? Am I, am I doing okay on the um, audibility chart? Oh, hang on, i got to recenter myself. This game allows you to speak out loud to make choices. Would you like to enable voice control? Speak out loud to make your selection. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, as long as I'm not saying too much other stuff near the voice controls. You may enable or disable at any time. Okay. Speak the lines aloud normally. There's no need to shout. Yeah, the mic on the headset is, like, literally right in front of your mouth. Or nose, so... How's the audio? Yeah, audio's fine? Cool. Try again. Let me just recenter myself over here. There you go. Let's test your memory. Do you remember who I am? No, where am I? A little slow, but it works. I'm worried that you are holding back. Try speaking with some emotion. <laughs> Are you a doctor? That's funny that he prompts you to speak with more emotion. It really gets you into it? Doctor? Yes. You know this down? Do you know why you're here? No. No, I don't know. I need to test how lenient You're it is. Trouble with your memory. We're trying to help you. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. And let the walls fall away. Try to visualize the last thing you can remember before you came here. Oh God, I have the wrong hands on each hand. That's always the worst in VR. Oh god. Additional sessions may be inevitable. So, did you remember anything? So, how lenient are we here? Can I just say yes? Yes, I remembered. Yes, I remembered something. Okay, so it is looking for the full phrase. <sighs> Describe it to me. And uh, for those wondering, you can just uh, pull the trigger to select uh, as well. Interesting. Hmm. Doctor, we seem to be making some progress. Is there anything else? Any small details? Nothing is too insignificant. I'm gonna try this again. So, please, relax, take a deep breath. Think about that moment and concentrate. No matter how much it may scare or upset you, it's important you face the hard truth. Now, what can you recall? Yeah, that was a little different. That memory was shorter. 
perhaps we've been pushing you too hard. I know this hasn't been easy, but I'd really like to try once more. Do you think you have it in you? Okay. Okay. Relax. Concentrate. Let the memory come in. So far, it appears to be completely successful. Ah, now, what can you tell me? This isn't helping. We need to stop. Please, understand me. I would never do anything to harm a patient. Now, you look like you could benefit from some rest. One final thing, and it's the key to the success of this treatment. You do understand I want what's best for you. When he gets close in my head, it's like, oh, it's that smelly doctor breath. This isn't helping me. Yeah. Oh, no. No, no, no. Time now to rest and heal. Let the memories come oh, home. Oh, my leggy. Uh, this will help. I'll have an orderly take you to your room. Let's talk on the side. Yeah, we did it. Hey, hey, we cured yet? No. Never felt better. Yep, good, good. Time to put you back on the shelf. Back on the shelf, Jesus Christ. That old Bragg will take his toys apart just to see if he can put them back together again. Hope he's not losing his touch. Yeah, they had a very similar explanation in uh, Until Dawn. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the same CG from Until Dawn. Should I be sitting for this game? Hi. Hello, Suzanne. Always good to see your face. Ah, uh, loser. Well, she, she didn't even look at you. Guess I ain't fit to shine her shoes. You think a girl like that would ever give me the time of day? Yeah, sure, man. You gotta hang in there. I wish you could, like, I wish it was yeah. more general with the voices. Damn straight. You're all right, bub. If, if the next scene goes by and I'm still sitting, maybe, I should, maybe I'm gonna sit. <laughs> it feels a little odd. I mean, that's just the nature of, of VR. This is a welcome to the sanatorium from Until Dawn. This is the place before whatever happened happened. This game is supposed to be about the event that, that made it get shut down, so we'll see. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and grab the chair, because it's, it's sitting right here.
just another patient. An endless stream of patients for old age to push around. I should have broken my microphone. I swear to God, streaming VR stuff is the worst. But I love it. Where are we going? Where are we going? Yeesh. You think Brag is spring for an upgrade? For the staff's sake, at least. Whole place going to pieces. Yeah, this feels a lot more natural now that I'm sitting. <laughs> Giving you the good stuff. Three sheets to something, all right. It comes when it's dark. <sighs> Fuck off. Duty calls. I want some Wendigos. You're just stranding me here. I'm really curious as to how much it branches. Until Dawn was pretty good at branching. I mean, it was it was still hey, now, the overarching story was still relatively you linear, but out, no big deal. you had a ton of choices. Just part of the treatment. Everyone could die. Back to your private little oasis. Kind of wondering for this one, like, do you get some sort of full control at some point? I've intentionally not watched previews or anything, so. while the lights are out. Rise and shine. Greet the new day. Come on. Wakey, wakey. Up, up, up. Let's see what you got. Upsy daisy. Damn fucking giant. That's not right. Have a look around. <laughs> Why don't you take in the view? Yep. Looks fucking great. What I tell ya? I had odds on you. Gonna make me a rich man. White wall tires and a three martini lunch. Now, walk. Come to Papa. You're being weird. There we go. Keep coming. I'll keep coming. Wow. Almost ready for the triathlon. Now, let's try going back to the bet. Point behind you and push to turn around. Oh, I see. Good. Real good. Now just stroll around a bit. Stretch those legs. Get the blood flow. Yeah, okay, so you point this thing around. Hang on. I'm, I'm convinced that that tutorial I want just you broke. Just <laughs> Move at your own pace. Take all day. Because I seem to only be able to turn around completely. Let me just quickly, in the settings, let me switch it back to 30 degree rotation like the default is, because maybe that tutorial breaks. You know, on a clear day, you can see the yeah, look, well, works just fine day. now. <laughs> I'll switch it back to free in a second, as soon as this tutorial's over. 
Yo, I can touch everything. It's great. Sure, you can stick around. Abe and Suzanne's date. Trip to the Mary's? Trip to the movies. Saturday night dancing. Does she like dancing? Walk together in the woods. Bite to eat. Keep it casual. So we got back there. Tuesday. Laundry, more equipment. <laughs> Patient visit. Oh shit, we've changed paper. Oh god. What's wrong? You okay? That's me. Oh god. I think I remembered something. Is that so? Well, uh, Bragg told me to let him know if you started filling in the blanks. Hey, come quick. Yeesh. Guy yeah, can't get a break around here. Okay, let me try changing the free movement back now. That was odd. Unless the free movement works in like a, a fundamentally different way that I didn't quite grasp. It seemed like that tutorial for some reason didn't work. Okay, now it's working. Okay. Oh, no, it was working in a way that I didn't grasp. You hold the button and then you turn it to do free movement. But that's, that's a lot better. It's a book. Sits. Hey, uh, did you find a piece of paper with my uh, notes scribbled on it? Yeah, you left it over here. Uh, you bet I did. You bet I did. Damn it. I sold the first line, I didn't sell the second read. Did you read my notes? <laughs> You're quite the poet. shouldn't have. And I guess you were just killing time, but curiosity killed the cat. You couldn't just be bashful about it? Let's get you ready for bed. Lights out soon. All right. Lights out. Oh fuck, Jesus Christ! <laughs> that, was a, that was a cheap jump scare, but boy, they get me. Hey bud, just follow me, come along. I'm coming along. Oh, cool. When you tap the wall, the controller vibrates like just a teeny tiny bit. Christ. If I didn't know any better, I think this game's trying to scare me. Rise and shine. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Damn it, I finally like guessed one of the lines and it's just, who's that? Well, this is a very good opportunity for you to learn to get along with other people. You might want to start by introducing yourself. Hey, uh... You should know we are very encouraged. You are on the road to a complete recovery. You can't make me like this! I'm gonna get you out of here! Of course.
course, there are always going to be patients that are beyond our help. But I know that you only want to get better. Maybe you should meet your new roommate. What up? How's it hanging, my dude? Okay, well, if we're stuck in here together, we might as well get to know each other. What brings you to this fine establishment? Uh, I have amnesia. That's what they got me in here for, too. Crazy thing is, I don't have amnesia. Everything is clear as a bell. Doesn't stop them from messing with my noggin. So, uh, these treatments, they ever get any easier? No, but I got this sandwich that you can barely see in the light. Yum. Hang on, let me just choke that down. She's gonna be so pissed. Yeah, uh, I hope so. I hope you're on the level. Name's Gordon. You? Don't know. What are we doing here? I, uh... I guess a pain to let off. How do I do have to grab both sides? I'm gonna grab some shut eye. Talk I later. don't think I can open this right now, but I can grab it. You bet your ass I can grab it. January 29th. February is almost upon us. And to leave here, we'll have a whole extra day. Who knows how we'll spend it? They always said you can do things on any day you can't on any other. Like, um, a woman proposing to a man. Is that crazy? Yeah, this is of course like the 60s or something like that. Not quite sure of the exact date. Shaking the sheets a little last night. Oh, he caught me whacking it. Uh, I'm fine. Are you okay? I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm fine. Are you okay? Look. Oh, I before, didn't get anything. I don't want you to get the wrong <laughs> idea about me. I. I don't know what they're doing to me, but it's just I. Haven't been myself. I think it's. I like her. Yeah, it worked. Yeah. She's a little drunk on her own power, if you ask me. She brought you a sandwich. She's doing her job. I see someone was hungry. Very, very good. Have this new sandwich. Give me your sandwich, Gordon. Give me your lunch money. Come on, Leave give it up. up. Fucking tell me what to do. You know, I really prefer when VR games opt to just have floating hands, because the arms, I don't feel like anyone's ever quite gotten it right. Always feels a little odd, especially like the upper arm. It doesn't quite meet exactly where, like, exactly where your torso is. They try, and it's not bad, but it's never perfect. Good thing they saved all the cigarettes. Chow this down. For this gruel. Ugh. The 
can anyone eat this? I don't know how many more of these I can take. So give it up. You can I only to take one bite? this voluntary nonsense, right? It seems like I can only take one bite. As soon as possible. I'm shocked. You'd give up this five-star cuisine. This feels like a prison. I can't put my head through. We're all prisoners when it really comes down to it. So, uh, the treatment's knocking anything else loose up there? I don't remember much more. Don't give up. You're a fighter, I can tell. You'll get it all back. Now, uh, I think I need to put all my energy into shoving this toxic waste down my throat. Okay, well teach me how, because I can only get one bite into my sandwich. Clearly there's a trick to it, and I am just not savvy. Yep. This is all I got. Here, Gordon, you want this? Tough. Oh, wow. I can't drop it. If I, if I like, drop it, my hand just whoop, puts it back on the plate. <laughs> It's a bit weird. What up? You, you doing all right? Gordon does not look so good. I think he might be here for a reason. Can you do that? Can you choose to leave? Right? You don't trust a word they say either, do you? What's your problem? Ship fold. Is everything okay? Everything sounds okay. Hang on, let me just, give me a second here. I really need some of this sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good shit. I don't know why the arms don't feel as good as in some other games. Well, looky, looky, chicken cook. Frank said the treatment was kicking in. Slow and steady wins the race. Did people say looky looky chicken cookie back then? Cue the three ring circus. Not like it doesn't happen once a week around here. They'll have them doped and drooling in no time. Look, you and I, we're not like the rest of the folks in here. You get that, right? What do you mean? We're... We have trouble with our memories. It would be a lot worse from what I've seen around here. They should just take... God's name, what's that? It didn't sound human. Yeah, this is serious. I need a minute. Let me just think about this. Yeah, all right, Gordon. I'm, prob I'm probably just going to sit over here, if that's good. I actually can't sit. All right, that's it. Lights out. OK, please, this time. Whoever you are, please just fucking chill.
God, the binaural audio is really, really good in this game. Right this way. I mean, it was already good in um, Until Dawn, Rush of Blood, their rail shooter that they made for VR, but this is, uh, this is a whole other step. Whoa! I assume that door was going to slam whether I went or not. Yeah, this doesn't look quite right, guys. You do understand I want what's best for you. Okay, Gordon? It's been two days since they've come. Nothing. For two days. Whoa, seriously. They'll be back for me soon. They will be, right? Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Yes, of course. You can't just leave us here. It's not legal. Jesus, you look like you're right on the edge. Go ahead, me. I don't know about you, but I'm famished. I'm sure there's still some food around here. Any little scrap will do. Yeah, there was a little bit of sandwich on the ground over there, wasn't there? Over there, yeah, you left some sandwich over here, Gordon. Can I? I don't know that I can actually grab that for him. Why are you Why doing this to me? Come here. I think I got something. Yeah? What would you find? Ah, look at this. So got it, Gordo. What, what is it? Is it like half a hot dog? I swear there's like a bit of sandwich over there. Alright, well... Sure. If you're cool with that. You have no idea how hungry I am. Who knew that under the right circumstances, stale bread could taste like caviar? Can't quite make it when you're on the wall. Rag will have this whole mess sorted before you know it. Yeah? You, you sure about this? I suggest you rest up. Save your energy. They'll be around for us soon. Yeah, but there's no bed prompt right now, buddy. Hey, hey, yeah, this is the same memory I was gonna say. <laughs> Billy! Who's Billy? Why are you doing this to me? looking for me to do. Hey Gordon, did you take my bed's lie down prompt? I need that. I need that to sleep. Yes? What is it? My prompt, where's it at? What do you think happened? What do you, what do you think happened? What do you think happened? The sirens go off. perfection gets loose. They had a whole group of unruly cases come in recently, unhinged, really. 
My bad. It's one of the Blackwood stack can handle a loony on the loose. And we're on top of a mountain in the middle of winter. Nobody gets far when it's 40 below. Bright will sort things out. He always does. You, uh, you okay? I've had some strange dreams. Huh. Yeah, I, uh, me too, actually. Ever since they put me in. Hmm. Listen, this is going to be fine. Trust me. Just hang in there. I'm bushed. Why don't we both get some rest? Sweet dreams. I mean that. Sniffling sons of bitches, help! You can't just leave me in here. You can't do this to me. I'm not supposed to be here, god damn it. Yeah, I really do wonder oh, what Gordon's role is. This goddamn week they just leave me in here. This is Bragg all over. That two-faced son of a whore. He thinks he can get rid of me. Like trash. Well, buckle up, Bragg. <laughs> You just gonna keep spooning away at that? Like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some rest. Sleep. Nope. Of course. That's all you do. Well, fully for you. I'm the one who has to listen to your damn babbling all night. Think I get any sleep? I'm gonna sleep when I'm dead. And I'm not gonna die in here. I'm gonna die when I'm good and goddamn ready. Gordon, seriously, give me back my prompt. I've, uh, I've almost got a brick free with this spoon. It's pretty good, right? Yeah, it's great. Great idea. God, the edge of his mouth is twitching. Looks yeah, good. It is a great idea. It's a great idea, man. Oh, come on! But you did! That was our only chance! Gordon, gay. Hey. You need to calm down. Calm? Are you kidding? What the hell is wrong with you? Are you trying to get us killed? Oh. This guy's a real, uh, real Detective Phelps, isn't he? Oh, yeah, we got a flashlight. This is gonna be spooks. It looks like a dead end. Yeah, I can't climb over it. Time to walk towards the jump scare. I can't even feign bravery. Probably not, unless I'm missing something, which I'm probably missing. Oh, I could turn off the flashlight too, amazing technology. No, this door's not an option. 
Fuck me. Where's my where's where's my jump scare? Where's my progression jump scare? You know what, there must have been like a, an item or something to pick up over here that I missed. Propped on top of something. I'm really not seeing anything. I'm, I'm, I'm a little unclear. On what I'm actually supposed to do at this point. Okay, this stretcher appears to have no collision. Which is super handy for looking around. <laughs> Any ideas? Let me check that other rack. Otherwise, I'm, I'm about out. I can go bang on that door and see if anything happens. I should actually check if the stream's still alive. Are you guys still are you guys still doing? Good. Good, I'm glad it's still up, because I can't fucking tell. I'm just drinking some water, sorry. Okay, um Where's progress at? of insanity. Let's keep doing that. I feel like I definitely missed something. Or, alternatively, something failed to trigger. I don't know. I don't know. In fact, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm inclined to say maybe something actually didn't trigger. Yeah, this seems wrong. There's no collision on this stuff. Let me see if there's a restart checkpoint. I can quit, quit resume and hopefully that'll, what do we got, Wait, let's look around real quick. Memories, oh fuck, we got a lot of them. Unless I'm missing something, I think at this point I'm actually going to reload. Because I, I feel like this isn't right. It seems odd that, of all things, this stuff doesn't have collision. They're really good about giving everything collision, except for these front objects here. I feel like maybe they were supposed to move out the way or something. 
Just bang on the walls. It actually feels really good. The sound design's really well done. I am very pleased. The treatment is working. I'm sure of it. Tremendous progress. I put this leg over here. That ain't right. I gotta say, I really appreciate that your your hand uh, casts a shadow. That's that's pretty cool. Oh, there's the wolf. I wonder if that's a straight callback to Until Dawn. And there's a smaller animal, maybe a cat behind it, or a rabbit. A rabbit, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll go the the wolf route. I feel safer. That's not great, but I feel safer in general. Oh! Loud noises. Uh, using control. Using power. It's not too effective in there. Oh, I don't like it. Cool, thank you for not showing me a big wolf in my face. Gordon's really putting the work in. Broke a window, broke the wall, throwing my lamp. That's all I have, my lamp. Why would you do this? Let me fix you. Can't no. fix you. Don't come in here. It's me. You alright, buddy? No. Not me. I'm, I'm worthless. They're there. Nah. Huh? Oh. It's just you. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry about hitting you. Things are, they're not right. It's, it's no excuse, but I, I, just, I just want you to understand I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't worry about it. No, please. I don't deserve to be forgiven. The worst part is, I barely made a scratch. I need a hundred spoons to get that brick out. In a week, you know. You ever gone that long before? Not me. Nobody's heard about starvation with bad. I don't know how much longer our body can hold on. Do you? Uh, we gotta hold on. We gotta hold on. I think it's time to accept our fate. I'm too close to the camera. Lay awake. I can't stop thinking about one little cave in. Oh. Thirty men down in that mine. I 
and grab the bars. Weeks. How's that even possible? Only 12 made it out. Out of the frying pan. And then... Leave it to brag to your opportunity knock. And know how to cover his ass. You never really have to think about what you might be capable of. Down in the mine. Stuck in a cell. What's the difference? We're all alone. And hungry. In the end. It's mm. a good question. And what's the point of hiding it now? I mean, really? Who are you gonna tell? Yeah, the sound effect doesn't play if you do it too quickly. Which sucks, because you can't play any songs, really. Joe Baker stuff going on. You, uh, how you doing? Better today? survive. What are we? There's no one out there, is it? We're the last two people on Earth. And we'll die in here alone. to talk. I hope you can understand that none of this was supposed to happen. I didn't want it to happen, but it is my fault. And if you can, please. Okay, you genuinely me. got some explaining to do. Believe me, right? None of that matters now. Thank you for that. I've been here a long time. Seen a lot of patients come and go. All I ever wanted to do was help them. But this is what it comes to. This. And if I get out of here, it's a new start. Clean slate. People can change, right? Sure, people can change. So, I hope so. You, uh, you should get some rest. Gordon's doing great, man. Not everyone could. Whoa. 
Not everyone could deal with a high pressure situation like Gordon is. Hey, uh, what's going on out here? Oh wow, we're back to the green zone. either this time. Jeez. Jeez. You guys all gonna slam shut? That you have to sedate so badly, right? Hey, I'm going to give you this, and we'll be back for you very soon. and spiders. Can I pick one up? Yeah. First enemy I see, I'll whiz this right through him. Plate. Fuck. I need this. Oh, thank God. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me. Oh, I've lost my. <laughs> I've lost my defense. No! Why? Why are you doing 
this! Stop it! get another plate at least. Oh, no, the plate's gone. Oh, there's a, yeah, yeah, there's a little plate. The dish is gone, rather. Now we've got a full-blown plate. This can slice through anything. Uh, this is a <laughs> high vibration plate. Gordon? Put you down there for now. Do I just stare at it to cause a memory? Or do I have to grab it? I'm not sure how to trigger the memory here. Check it out over here. 1952, Monday the 14th of January. Oh, this is this. Got him! Got him! In here! In here! In here! That's the dude from the beginning of the game. 1952, February. Okay. So this is like not much later. Moose flakes. Nice. Moose Polish cereal. Looks like you are still the secret to defense. William Bates. Could that be Billy? That's fucking spooky. to turn around. Damn it. 
It's all I have in this world. Oh shit, that's some Wendigo shit right there. Unless it's just like all a work and there's actually no Wendigos and it's just trying to make me think there are. Okay, can I call? Nice, okay. I was worried I need to put down my plate. The loading took away my plate. Fuck. I'm defenseless. I can't tell if there's meant to be a memory here and I just can't. I don't know how to trigger it. I don't think so. Okay, whoever you are, I hope you're not fucking afraid to get fisted, because that's what's happening. Fist you right in the face. I turned around. You look mysterious. Okay, I was kind of hoping for nothing, so that that's perfect. <laughs> that's exactly what I wanted. You know, I would be completely satisfied if I walked down this this hallway and the game just ended without a scare, and it just went, "Hey, you did a pat on the back," because I am not ready for this to get spooky again. <laughs> right by there. Okay, I'm gonna need you. Oh shit. Hang on. Can I actually open that? Can we use the powers of incredible technology to actually open this? Grab. Pull. Yeah, look at that. Grab. Incredible technology! Oh fuck, I auto-turned and slammed it into a wall. Oh, this is where... This is where we were seated at the beginning of the game. He was over there, futzing with... Something was there. He was maybe recording notes or something. I'm not 100% sure. Doctor costume now in my memory. It would undermine the veracity of Definitely was a doctor. What happened?
that one of the masks that they put on people so they don't bite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I put it on, the enemies will think I'm scary. Oh fuck, I wanted to don it, but I triggered the scene again. <laughs> I heard noises out there. I suppose I'm supposed to go back. I really, I gotta say, I really appreciate, oh shit, I'm stuck on this little light on the ground. I really appreciate the attention to detail with touching shit and how shit sounds. I'm sure you saw me slapping shit rhythmically earlier, but like, Okay, look. You can put your hand down gently, right? And it just kind of, like, latches onto it a little bit. Let me get a little closer. And it keeps your hand, like, level with it, even if you rotate your hand. Actually, look, if you rotate your hand, it rotates it around the side. That's actually even cooler. It keeps it level if you go down softly. And if you go down a little firmer, there's, like, slightly louder sound. Tap. Tap. And then... Now you have to use the fist. Yeah, the fist's got a whole other one. It's great. And you can just fucking slam on everything, it's great. More games should have this. The, the, the controversial slam anywhere system. I'm not. I shouldn't have said that. All right. I just needed to know you weren't uh, one of those things. Where's my flashlight? I don't want to freak you out, but I've been keeping my eye on you. Shit. That's one of them. It's close by. Anyone back the way you came? Uh, they're all dead. They're all dead. I don't know what's going on. But you better come with me. This way. Cannot take a lantern. damn place was starting to feel like a ghost town. Yeah, after you do a few slaps, for some reason the sound effect stops playing. I don't know why. Maybe that's intentional. But I do like the slime anywhere system. She's got a bit of wood. I'm supposed to be standing over there, my bad. I'm David, I work here. How long have you been in here? Never mind that, let's keep going. Why are you alone here anyhow? Everybody already left. You piss someone off? 
they forgot about me. Still don't get why you got left behind. Staff should know better than that. So, give it to me straight. You one of the miners in the cave-in? Cave-in? There was a collapse. Some miners got trapped, okay? They were brought to the sanatorium to recover. But things... Well... Best laid plans. What happened? Well, hard to say exactly. But something changed with the miners. They went wild, like they were possessed, like turned into literal monsters. You've never seen anything like it. I wish I could blot it from my mind. We gotta keep moving. There were other survivors. They're not far. But just so you know, I got my eye on you. Okay. Come on, David, you can trust me a little more than that. All right, follow me. What is this place exactly? It's Stay clearly here. a workshop. We're almost at Bragg's office. Woodworking? Everybody else is holed up with Ted in the chapel. I'd be there too, but you know Brad. There's always something with him. You had to go back, and Suzanne and I are his escort. They should be waiting for me at his office. He might need to pick up it out. The jealous heart. Yeah, that's some shit right there. I love fake books in video games. Oh, can I turn off that lamp? Really need to know if you're gonna put a little dangling light switch like that in a VR game, you know I'm gonna reach for it. Oh. Incredible technology. You know, it's just open back here, right? Hmm, nothing. Oh, thank God. Yeah, check this out, David. I'm gonna shred the next fucker I see. I haven't seen any of the miners since the uh, incident. I can still hear them, though. Mostly outside. I mean, I think it's them. Gives me the chills every time. In case you're wondering about that, I'm just banging the plate on the light to keep people, to keep monsters away. It's a fear tactic.
I was not exactly pleased, so I'm calling the cops. I guess he's worried they'll catch a whiff of something they ain't supposed to. Oh God, I gotta put down the plate. It's okay, I'm strong. I'm strong and smart, I can do this. Yo, Wendigos are real. My girlfriend is actually, like, deathly afraid of the Wendigos in Until Dawn. So she will love to play this. I hope when the police show up, they plug every last fucking minor they see. Show himself. Hey, um, it's David. Can I come in? Uh -huh. Rack, Suzanne, got another live one. Jesus, David, why the hell would you bring him here? I know what you've done. You're a monster. You sicken me. So, patient, how are we feeling today? What happened to Gordon? You really don't... Your roommate is dead. That's all I know. Are you sure you don't remember anything? I dreamt Gordon was screaming. I appreciate your honesty. This whole mess. Oh. Billy Bennett? Bennett, your roommate. He's a dear friend, colleague, one of our staff doctors, not, not a patient. I'm sorry. The deception was necessary needed to observe your progress as closely as possible. There was no way to know that all this, well, that would end up so. Now, there's nothing in a caterpillar that lets you know it's gonna be a butterfly. And sadly, opposite's also true. You're a stupid old fool. Not gonna like that one. I deserve nothing less. Oh no, he loves it. Hey, do you know who you're speaking to? Jefferson Bragg is a great man who's done great things for a lot of people, myself included. David, enough. I should never have come back. Sorry, I... I thought I could right the ship. But you can't steer a ship in a squall. Mr. Bragg, you've been down before. You'll pull us all through. I know you will. Oh, Suzanne, my dear. I admire your optimism, but it's misplaced in me. This is, uh, uh it's just too big to keep quiet. No, I'm finished. No, Mr. Bragg, please, let's just go to the chapel. The, the storm's let up. The police are yes. on their way. The chapel. Thank you. Go now. 
I'm staying here. We can't leave you behind. It's not safe. Please. You know we all have to go. Everyone, Bragg included. Yeah, everyone should come. Yes, you should come with us. Stop! Enough! This place belongs to me. And I belong to it. Now get the hell out of here. And take that monster with you. Me? Mr. Brad. Come on. Can't stop. Come on. He's made up his mind. No. No! We gotta go now while we still can. Get out! Leave me alone! No, you don't. Haven't you done enough damage? But I haven't done any damage. Is that what you tell yourself? Get the fuck out. I, I'm very unclear on what I did. You could shed some light on this situation, or else I'll ruin this chess game. Too late. Can I operate this thing? I cannot operate this thing. My hand just floats around it. Yeah, I know who you really truly are. Mm hmm? Get out of my sight. Yeah, okay. About that time. You don't want the flashlight up front? Oh god, it's off. Christ, what happened here? Yeah, look at that. Crawled through the ceiling. Let us out, we are starving, freezing. I will make you pay. Stop testing us now. Nine, nine days, I suppose. Phew, we made it without seeing a single monster. Boy, am I glad. No. Wait. We don't know what's out there. There was nothing out there before. Let's just go one at a time. Remember what Ted said. One of those things shows up. Move a fucking muscle. Yeah, okay, I'm glad that's coming back. I hope you actually have to do that with the Wendigos. Uh, so and until dawn, yeah, you had to stand perfectly still. And that was how you could avoid the Wendigos. Okay, I'll go first. They're like T-Rexes. The You're doing great.
He's doing it. He's standing still. He knows. You next or am I? You wait here. Okay, I'll follow. I got this. Probably shouldn't look. Gosh, that is actually... <laughs> when he darted down to the ground, I, I felt myself almost move. Get what up? Easy. Take it easy. And you made it across just fine. Okay, all right. I wonder if we would have sent her first, if, if that would have changed something. You should never have gone back. Hey, it's not like you could have just let him go out there alone. Alone? That was his choice. He wouldn't listen to us. Oh, yes. Well, if Bragg had made up his mind, there was nothing on heaven or earth that would, would have changed it. Father Ted Mosley, I'm glad to meet another survivor. My pleasure. Father, How are you doing? The only reason we're alive right now is because you told us not to move. At first I couldn't believe it, but... I saw it all from here. I'm glad you made it back here. Not everyone has been so lucky today. The mythology I've been telling you about... One of these things... I never knew how true it all was. This is not a disease. This is not a virus. This is a curse. There are more survivors holed up in the administration offices. They still think it's an infection. They have no idea what they're up against. They need our help. I've been so worried about each and every one of you. I warned Bragg something like this could happen. I warned him there was something here on the mountain. An evil spirit, powerful. But he wouldn't listen. An evil spirit? It's like what happened to the miners. What they did to each other to survive. When I was a missionary interacting with the native people, I'd hear these stories told with great conviction. But of course, back then, I only trusted in my own faith, so I dismissed them as mere superstition. Unsubstantiated campfire tales. Go on. They spoke of monsters that got inside of you. Monsters that fed on human flesh, insatiable, hungry rapacious. They said the only way to elude the creatures was to remain perfectly still. But beyond that, 
there was no way to pin them off. They called them Wendigo. I never truly believed they were real. Until now. I'd advise everyone to get a little shut-eye while we can. Excuse me. Suzanne. Just hold tight. <coughs> They're coming to get us out of there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, it's all over the headset. How are we gonna get out of this? You think the police are really on their way? Hey, hey, hey. Don't be scared. They'll be here soon. Yo, I got tons of options. Oh, I can talk to them too. Let's hope so. Sooner the better. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. Can't help and sleep. Would you please come and help me? Yeah, I gotcha. Only one hand though, the other hand's got the flashlight. Hang on, let me move over a little further. I got you, Doc. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Just let me just let me line myself up. I swear this never happens. Police? I wonder the subtitle said police, but Shit, you got me in one of these. What happened? Let's just take it easy for now. You well, my other arm is trapped under my leg. Took a tumble and hit your head pretty hard. You'll be alright. Why would they just open fire like that? The police saw the miner, what he'd become, and they reacted. Reacted? People are dead, man. That's a pretty big fucking reaction. I think we all need to calm down. Think this through.
What's that noise? What noise? I didn't hear anything. We need to get out of here. This tunnel will take us to the hotel. So am I perhaps becoming one of them? Can they walk? Keep your eyes on my finger. Good. Response seems normal. We need to move. Now. You think you can stand? Yes. Let's go. Sounds like they're giving up on that door. It won't be long before they find another way in. We should go. Should be safe in the hotel. And at least those covert load times aren't aren't terribly long when they do that. Can we use the cable car down the storm? As well? They're a little intrusive, but they're not the worst. Place in lockdown for winter. I doubt Victor's even alive. Victor knows this place like the back of his hand. If anyone could make it, it's him. Victor, is that you? Jesus, fuck! All right, show's over. Let's move on. No, can I go over there? Let me go in this door. Let me go off the rails. Off the rails. No, can't go off the rails. Fuck, you scared me, priest. Why are you doing this, father? Victor manages to cram the entire hotel in here for the winter. Look how organized. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Sets a fine example. Please, Ted, we have to stay focused. Looks to me like Victor's been here recently. Come on, just pick it up. Pick it up. Or do I should just stare at it? Almost had it. There we go. I'm telling you, this sort of press really gets on the bright skin. I'd advise you to be careful. Reporter assaulted on Blackwood Mountain. Wow, this is like totally legible. Reporter from the Alberta Post was assaulted and hospitalized yesterday by security at the Blackwood Sanatorium. Uh, holy shit. That's cool, this entire thing's actually legible. So, um, you know, something I've noticed that's kind of weird, and I think some of you guys might have noticed it here as well, um, it's odd how everything has, like, real physics applied to it, or an attempt at real physics applied to it, because then, like, shit bumps into stuff. And, like, if I wanted to bring this up to me, I can't just pull it up, because it'll do that, you know? Like, I actually have to, like, move it out of the way, which is a neat idea, but sometimes, sometimes it ends up with weird results. Um, like earlier, yeah, like here, I can't move this teacup. Um, or like earlier where, um, when I was sitting in the wheelchair just before, uh, this arm had loaded in under my character's leg. So it was stuck between the leg and the rail and I couldn't actually raise my arm because it's, it's actually checking collision. Um, it's another reason I, I find just doing floating hands is really nice. I mean, I, I get the intent with wanting to have full arms that really touch everything, that's cool. 
This is cool. The, the, the smack everywhere system is really good. But drawbacks. Sorry, slam everywhere system. What? I must ask, have you been left isolated? Alone? Recently? Yes, I have. Yes, they left me for days. Can you tell me what happened? What the hell is going on here? I'm afraid we're running out of time. David, keep your wits about you. Where are we? How far to the elevator? We're now in the basement of the Blackwood Pines Hotel. I'm stuck on this corner, damn it. Too focused on banging everywhere. Try it for size. Blend in, huh? Okay. So I suppose they made me forget something. I mean, it was pretty obvious that someone had fucked with my memory, but it seems like it might have been Bragg specifically. What? Where are we going? Where to? Second floor! We just have to get to the second floor. We're almost there. Oh, I just could think. We're gonna make it. How I? How is the second floor safe exactly? I'm curious. Okay. 
characters are all a little lifeless in situations like this. Like, the graphics are great, the characters look great, but... Looks like it got hit by one of the bullets. I wish they, like, spoke amongst each other a little more. Damn it. What now? I have to hit the open button. Nope. God damn this shit! Oh no, it's the police again! Oh shit. Those fuckers are supposed to be on our side. Down. There's no point in panicking. We have to get out of here now. Found him. Yeah, the window goes over here now. Get yeah, and, uh, so now we're at the third sterile elevator scene. It's uh, the talk amongst each other. Also, the ambient lighting has gotten really bright all of a sudden. Oh, come on! We have to get this thing open. Okay, I take it you're actually waiting for me to do something at this point. Yeah, at this point, it may actually be waiting for me to do. No, what the hell okay. Going on? Was that shooting? Victor, it's the police. This elevator we sequence is weird in if a not we don't great way. They will execute every single one of us they can find. The police? There has to be some mistake. Can you get the door open from your side? I think so. Yeah. Okay, are we gonna get six elevator rides or is it just five? Just five. Five's a five is a healthy number of successive elevator rides with frequent loads. Weirdly frequent loads. Follow me. Yeah, that section was a little odd. Not not hundred percent sure about that. I almost kinda wish we just would have went to the second floor and come out here, you know what I mean? Instead of having a... To fuss with, like, oh, the police are here. Oh, the Wendigo got the police. Oh, Victor. <coughs> Excuse me. Lord, who will stay behind to run the cable car? The cable car can't be operated from inside. Someone needs to stay. What is it? Oh, shit. You... You're one of them. Got to get to the cable car. Stay back. No, I'm cool. I'm cool, right, Suzanne? 
She still wants to hang out. Word of me in your story, or there's no deal. All right, elevators over here. Leave me alone, please. No, I'm cool. I wonder if there's anything over here. Probably not. Yeah, that's a no. Yo, what up? Do not come any closer. The Wendigo is not an infection. It's a curse. Punishment for an unforgivable sin. You have consumed the flesh of another human being. You're a monster. From body to soul. I'm sorry. I cannot allow you to leave this mountain. Can you help me, Father? I'm sorry. You're beyond help. The curse cannot be reversed. The monster will soon be all that's left of you. But your last moments of humanity need not be in vain. You can help us get away. What do I need to do? Once I'm in the car, press that button. That'll start it down the mountain. I'm so sorry this is how it had to end for you. I want you to know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Oh, I really do have to wait for him to get in, don't I? Bummer. Yeah, I've been mashing it. Okay, see you guys at the bottom. I hope we get a sick first person VR skiing section. <laughs> Yo, this is, this is pretty neat, though. Yeah, you know what? That's, that is genuinely all it needed to show of that section. That is, like, truly they did not need to show more of that. Yeah. That's pretty fucking neat. Okay, I gotta, I gotta crack open and look at our options and shit. Let me get a, let me get a sip and sip of water real quick.
will I actually be able to do anything different at this point? Or am I too deep in and I'm just kind of locked on? All right. Head to the elevator. Yeah. Quiet. I don't want to have to make you guys sit through elevator shit for another 10 minutes. Let's make your way to the elevator. Once everyone's in, we can go. No. Yeah, I'm not going to be finding anything else. I, I'm, I'm somewhat concerned at this point that I'm going to have to start a new game and make, and make new choices pretty radically from the beginning. I didn't spy a chapter select, but I'll have to just see and make sure once I quit out. Yeah, no way going back is going to be an option. I'm just wasting my time. <laughs> uh, quit. As someone who bought this game, I definitely hope that there are better slash more interesting endings hidden deeper inside. Um, and I'll, I'll definitely be going back to to see shit a bit later, but hey, uh, how much did this cost? Yeah, it was $40, um, that is correct. Uh, I don't know, man. Like it was nice and polished and shit, but at the end of the day, wasn't a whole lot going on, you know? Um, seems like one of those stories that doesn't necessarily need to be told. Like, we kind of kind of knew enough about the Wendigos from Until Dawn, you know? <laughs> like, I don't I don't think we need the, the detailed history to get the idea. So, hey, I'm sure, um, I'm sure it wasn't that thrilling to watch. What I, what I will say is, in VR, uh, the atmosphere was really good. The binaural audio was really, really next level. Um, I played a couple games with binaural audio, like Hellblade and um, Corpse Party Book of Memories. Book of Memories, I think it was called. Um, and this this was really top notch binaural audio. I gotta say, uh, the atmosphere was really, really nice. I don't I don't necessarily think that's something that came across. I, I noticed when I went to rewatch some of my older VR stuff, like Farpoint that like the atmosphere just does not really come across. It ends up looking really bland. Um, so it probably looked really bland and not that thrilling. So um, yeah, at the end of the day, it was just walk and, walk and jump scare and slam your hands on the wall. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. Uh, definitely, I mean, I think that's the issue, right? Like I definitely feel like I just need to play more because I, <laughs> like that ending it, I mean you can call it unsatisfying but besides unsatisfying it was nothing like the only thing we learned in that ending was we became the Wendigo uh, maybe eating the cockroach was the divergence point uh, something about eating human flesh I, I don't know I don't know right um so I, I really, I don't know. I, I want to see what the real endings are because clearly we have not seen that. And I don't think I'm up to stream another playthrough tonight at all, uh, being that it's it's getting pretty late. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It, it, was, it was nice, but like, I, I guess I feel like I'm not even finished. You know what I mean? Like, uh, even though we hit the credits, I don't, I don't feel like I've finished the game, you know, like, um, like, it's like, 
and not to say in terms of story quality, but like like something like The Invisible Hours or Near, where like just seeing one ending is not a qualification to understand what the game was about. Like I really feel like I need to play more. Um, what I definitely will say is is as an alternate ending, that one was deeply underwhelming. Um, I definitely think in games that have multiple endings, they should they should give you enough information that you don't feel like you got nothing when you when you get to an early end. And in that case, yeah, we got to an early end and <laughs> there's just there's nothing. Like they didn't they didn't tell us anything interesting. Just hey, you turn into a Wendigo, which I'm not even sure if this is the only ending um in which you turn into an Endigo. So, I don't know. Ca uh, Captain Overkill in the chat says the nurse's sandwich you took a bite out at the start had a finger in it. Did it? D did it? Can't tell if you're pulling my leg here. Maybe I have no idea. So I don't know. But yeah, the the last the last act just kind of just kind of blew. Like as particularly that elevator section where I'm just standing and looking around and like all the, the NPCs are standing there just stock still, moving their face around a little. I guess not talking to each other at all. Uh, it's pff, a little underwhelming in that regard, for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, the Zero Time Dilemma series does that all the time, too, where all like there's a bunch of bad ends, and seeing them is worthwhile, because you always get an extra little slice of the story, even in the bad endings, or an extra slice of a character's personification. But here, I feel like the only thing we got was like you could turn into a Wendigo, slash it's possible for these people to survive but i i don't know i don't know so i don't know i'm uh gonna play through this again on my own time for sure and i'm sure i will share my thoughts on the full game on twitter at some point as i am wont to do but uh i definitely need to give it a little more because i clearly did not get everything out of it so well, we see more Liam PJ streams. I stream my PJs a lot. You just can't tell because I'm usually just sitting here. So, hey, you know. Yeah, I won't eat anything this time. And hopefully I'll avoid eating human flesh. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry for the um, constant, like, uh, notifications saying, like, hey, your move controller's out of the, out of the camera. I'm trying a new setup with the PlayStation VR camera now that is better in some regards and clearly inferior in some regards to, to show you real quick like I have this amazing mount on my wall now um, and it dramatically improves the VR setup for like when I'm standing but when I'm sitting clearly it's got some flaws uh, I'm gonna have to futz with that a little more to, to get it just right but hey but hey Pariah 6950 asks, how do you defend VR not being a gimmick when so many VR games are like this? Okay, well, I, I take offense to how you wrote that. How do you defend VR? Come on, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> not everything's about attacking and defending. Like, or, you know, like, <laughs> there are a lot of really cool things in VR. Um, genuinely, like... <laughs> Equally, there's tons of really bad non-VR games, you know? It's, 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 a, it's a weird way to say it. I don't know why I need to be playing Defense Force when, like, there's a lot of people who do find VR cool. I know I do as well, so, you know, hey. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, I also agree that you probably ate Gordon or something. Uh, but I have no idea, so... struggling a little bit like just personally had had some rough shit it sucks I, I had the um anniversary stream recently where i was like yeah everything's tip top everything's going well and then i had some like 
rough personal shit happened recently. So I've been, I think I'm going to go back and see a therapist or something. Cause it's, it's not, it ain't done. And, uh, I've been, I don't know, grappling with like some light depression. I don't know if depression's ever light. So yeah, I'm having a hard time putting a schedule together. Cause some, some days I just like struggle to, to do anything. So I don't know if I'll, I'll get a schedule up in January in the end. So we'll see at some point. I think generally I'm doing better than before, but I don't, you know, everyone says it always gets worse in winter. I don't know why, but hey, it did. I guess it's after the holidays and shit, but I, you know, whatever. Uh, shout outs over the past few days to Requiem N7, Pale Blue Dots, Chrome Dome 113, Cam Kohler, Big Black Utter, Kill Scott Kill, and MNC Psycho for their subscriptions. Super appreciate it, guys. But of course, I appreciate just watching. Everything helps, you know. You know it. Um, yeah. No. I don't know. This is where I'm at. Thanks for tuning in. I hope I hope you guys enjoyed some of that. That was, uh, yeah, underwhelming to say the least. But like, I still found it mostly enjoyable. But then the the latter the latter act just really really dropped the ball, man. I'm kind of surprised, so. I don't know. I want to say I expected a little more, but it's it's hard to say without, without seeing, like, the more true endings or whatever. Um, I don't know. I don't know, man. I see some people saying they, they haven't seen any worthwhile VR games. Uh, Static Institute of Retention is really, really good. Uh, Super Hot VR is a different game from Vanilla Super Hot. Also, really, really good. Monster of the Deep was really fun. Uh, all the stuff I'm going by is like pretty good. I'm just calling out the stuff that I think was like particularly exceptional. Some people love Nog. I don't like Nog. Spark is fucking fantastic and definitely something that would only work in VR. Um, fantastic Contraption as well. I guess you could play it potentially with a mouse, but you'd need to like move around in 3D space as well. It definitely loses a lot outside of VR. Have I seen Beat Saber? Yeah, I did. I did see Beat Saber. Very interested in that game. Summer Lesson validates VR. I don't know. I don't know why I need to validate VR like for some of you guys. Like, come on. It's not always about, you know, <laughs> defend this or, you know, validate this or whatever. It's like, you know, there's a lot of fun stuff and hey, how do you find new VR games to play? I, I usually keep up with just what comes out and I just, I generally just look at a trailer for everything because that's what I do, so hey. Yeah, Beat Saber's pretty neat. Yeah, Spark's the, the game by CCP, the, the EVE guys. And yeah, it's like a, like a 3D sport thing, exactly, so. Yeah, I just bought What Remains of Edith Finch because it's on sale for like some amount, but it hasn't been on sale yet, or if it has, I missed it. So I picked up that and Overcooked. Overcooked, I played it like recently and I was like, holy shit, why have I not been in on this? I've been I've been super missing out on Overcooked and now I can finally get in there. It's such a good time, like holy shit, it's crazy. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, I'm gonna be off for the night. Uh, again, I hope some of you guys found some enjoyment in there even though it was really a little dry towards the end. So hey, what do you... What are you gonna do, right? Um, are you picking up Dragon Ball Fighter Z and/or Monster Hunter? Uh, no, no plans. I don't. I don't have time to get good at fighting games, and uh, mo I'm just, I'm not much of a Monster Hunter guy. So hey, that's uh, that's where it's at. Yeah, no. I I mean, I super get if you don't see the appeal in VR, Pariah, for sure. It's just frustrating when it's like, how can you defend VR? And it's like. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it, you know, I, I enjoy it, and that's, you know, that's all there is to it, you know, um, I don't know, it's fun, definitely, like, I, I definitely feel like all the software isn't there right now, don't get me wrong, like, is a purchase completely worthwhile at this point? That really depends on your tastes, for sure, um, but some of the shit I've played in VR, like, super hot, super hot VR is fucking amazing, it's, I, I find super hot VR so much better than base super hot, um, 
Resident Evil 7, I found, was like a lot better in VR as well. Res Infinite as well is like a lot better in VR than not in VR. Even though like some of those are just conversions, it's like they're still, I find they, they still play better in VR. So I don't know, you know. What do you think about John Cena talking about uh, starring in a film as Duke Nukem? Yeah, that, that that's wild. I wonder if that'll come to pass, you know? Curious. Because that'll be something. That'll be something. I didn't have any hand in that, I assure you. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I'm legit off for the evening. It's getting late, so have a good one, guys. Sleep tight. Uh, in enjoy. Enjoy life. Go have a good rest. I'm going to try to find some enjoyment in life, too. Take care, guys. Buh bye bye